Hey guys, this morning coming back to you with another Thursday night ride, tree clearing video, and beta test video. We're out on the Uncompacted Plateau, testing out whether or not uh, it was just foul plugs on the old beta from the last video. Uh, doing some tree cutting, and it's Thursday night, so we ride dirt bikes. Anyway, if that sounds like fun, join us. Here we go. Legit this time. Uh, the last couple weeks we've been uh, going up Davewood Road and kind of accessing the plateau from there. Uh, today we are headed up Highway 90 into the thick of it. Uh, I hear that the road should be all clear of snow and that, uh, hopefully the trails are too. Uh, we're going to find out though. Um, it's a little bit higher elevation where we're headed today and um, you know. It is still May, so we will see what's going on. I'm excited though. We got the chainsaw ready. We got the beta back out with new plugs in it, and I got two more plugs in my backpack. So hopefully it was just a foul plug based on crashing and things like that. I really don't think it's the jetting because uh, there's at least four other betas around here running that jetting and having zero issues. The difference is they're all single plug betas, the 23s and 22s and 21s, uh, which are all the same motor as my motor, uh, just have a single plug head. I'm excited to get the S3 head on there uh, and try that out. Um, I think the high compression is going to help. Uh, there will be some other things I think are going to help it not foul plugs. Um, and then, of course, it also could be something wrong with the ignition system. Who knows? We're going to find out. Let's get up there. Yeah, we're going to go up this road then we'll come back on that single track and cross and go over all right guys this is the first ride since the foul plug incident of 2024 foul plug gate we'll call it we'll just call it plug gate 2024 so hopefully no problem but if we do have problems i have smart plugs We'll just leapfrog, so he's gonna go on up. So if the other guys want to go with him, and I'll get this one. Being obstinate. So we got Dave over there. We're filming here. We got Dave on a Suron Ultra B. Pretty excited to see how that thing does for a Thursday night ride. What's your normal range, Dave? About 30 miles. Nice. That should be more than enough. So far, the bike feels pretty good, but I think, I think I'm gonna have to change jetting for up on the plateau, which I am just not used to doing. Like all my bikes, all my carbureted 300s, which I've had a few of, not a ton, but a few. Uh, they all Change it for up here. Yeah, this is crazy how few logs there are on these trails. Now I say that, and there's probably going to be a million of them on the next one, but normally by here we've hit a few. Ah! Oscar! Was that? I cleared that one earlier, so the rest of this is clear if we want to just like group up. Like, yeah, perfect. I mean, we're almost there, but yeah. yeah. Oscar fell down. Fell well, down. What was he doing there? I'm like, what are you doing? Got a little that. slickery. Oh man, I love water, green grass, trees. Everybody thinks that Montrose is. Nothing but the desert because a lot of our videos are down there, but this is only 40 minutes from my shop, 30 minutes from downtown.
Keep going, man. Gonna be working on some wheels for Dave. This is Dave in front of me. Anyway, working on some wheels for him tomorrow. Putting some more moto y tires on him. Try to get him. Uh, like we did for that other guy. So excited about that.
What's that? Your clutch is so soft. Oh, I know. It's so That's sick, crazy. dude. I know. It's. I love that thing. Oh, by the way, guys, I have the goggle zone. Oh, yeah. I have the goggle zone uh, films on these two. I love these things. I absolutely love them. The company's called Goggle Zone. Uh, they sell them in four packs. I like them. I stock them at the shop if you ever read. And grab a set, get them online. I don't have an affiliate link. I just like them that much. I think if we if we help each other and get through just right through here. Yeah. I mean I don't know, we might have to turn around, but someone give me a hand, we'll just push this thing. Yeah, because <laughs> it goes that way and we're not looking good. No, we're not facing south yet. So, we can go back up where we came, that's no biggie. Alright guys, that was awesome. Dave, how much battery you got left? What's that? Top right quarter. Oh, 47% right on. There we go. The Suron Ultra B did awesome. I think that thing did rad. I can't wait to get real size wheels on it. Yeah. That's going to be sweet.
Here we go guys, another night out on the plateau, another night cutting trail. Beta work good. I think I am gonna try a leaner uh, main jet for up here. Uh, well, I don't know. I might not because I'm waiting for that head. When I get that a high comp um, single plug head, I think I might leave this jetting in there because I think that high compression and a better design is gonna burn that fuel better. So gonna leave it for now. Didn't follow plug, felt good. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Thanks for joining us guys. I love you. Uh, as always, if you uh, think about it, use the links in the description. Rocky Mountain, Onyx, uh, First Track Moto, uh, uh, Toolbox Widget. All Anyway, everybody, thank you guys so much for all the support. I love you. We'll see you on the next one.